Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to talk about Angela Renee White. Now, we know that Angela is on her spiritual journey and as such, she was able to caught many major media outlets with this positive change. Now, we know that she has spoken about removing over 11 to 12 pounds of fillers from her body and just embracing change. Angela says that because of all the things that she's been through, she has discovered that there's only one way to do it right, and that is by God. Angela said that every time she makes large sums of cash, cash she noticed that there would be a lawsuit following that huge lump sum of money. Now, most recently, she was on the Kumo show. Kumo was very um, excited by Angela's visit, and he actually praised this girl for the positive change and the positive influence that she's making. I'm going to go ahead and play that clip for you guys, and then I'll get back with the rest of my commentary. A lot of things from her body. Silicone, fillers, some things she weren't even sure what they were. Why? She wanted to restore herself and she recognized the risk of the choices she had made. And she wants to talk to you about it and I will not call her Black China again because her real name is Angela White. And Angela joins me now along with Dr. Doris Day to talk about how Angela is shining a light on something that many of us need to see. So thank you both. Uh, whether, whether it's Pesach or it's Easter, uh, blessings of the season to you both. Uh, Angela, I'll start with you. Uh, tell us about your change and what was the motivation? So guys, Angela was blown away by the respect that she got during that interview. She was definitely flabbergasted and she thanked um, Kumo for that beautiful introduction. Now, I wanted to give you guys more off the clip, but I also have to be respectful of others' intellectual property, also copyright. So if you want to see the entire interview, they have a page here on YouTube. You can check them out on Instagram and the list goes on. I believe that you guys know where to find this interview. But what I like about, you know, what is happening is the fact that knowing that Angela is a woman of color and to be seen in this positive manner and for this, you know, light to be shining on the positive change that she's making so far, most of, you know, the responses, they have been positive for the most part, which means that she's getting the empowerment that she needs, the encouragement to push through and to continue on this journey. No, I must say that spiritual journeys are never easy, especially when you're trying to shed off that old part that keeps you stuck, stagnant, and as many people would say, worshiping the devil. When you're trying to switch from that to the good, it's never easy. And if you see her slipping up, do not give her a hard time because remember that we're all spirits going through a human experience. And as such, we need to be cognizant of the fact that none of us are perfect. And it's not the mistakes that we make, but how we come out from those mistakes and what we do moving forward. So I do expect to see, not that I'm praying for it, but I do believe that we're going to see some kind of slip up where the media may call her out for it. So if you do see that, just remember that it is always a challenge during the spiritual journey okay but um i just decided that i want to share this breath of fresh air with you guys because there's far too much drama on the internet we have dived in many of those drama and i believe it's time for us to take our heads above water give ourselves ourselves a break from that high level of toxicity and to focus on something new bright airy and refreshing so i want to hear from you guys while you're at it, give this video a big thumbs up, share if you care, and see you all next time. Bye, guys.